just be out with us to the majestic Doro Valley. A quick note Devon and I are both sick so this vlog is going to be different I decided to come out to film some information for you to help you plan uh, your vacation to Doro Valley as I was planning our trip it was a little bit confusing to plan it so I just wanted to give you more information about Doro Valley and how to best plan your trip so to begin with i want to talk about what is doro valley well this is the majestic views right there of the doro river and hills and mountains with vineyards doro valley is a unesco world heritage site that means this area is protected and this is a very large area known for wines and uh, Doro region is where port wines are coming from officially, right? So uh, it has to be certified that the grapes come specifically from this region in order for the wine to be called port wine. And for centuries, this uh, area has been known to grow really good grapes and um, they would make fortified wine here as well and then transport it into Porto. Well, this region became really popular to visit vineyards, do wine tasting, do river cruises and come here for a, a relaxing, uh, enjoyable time because the scenery here is really beautiful. Unfortunately, due to the weather and our health conditions, not COVID as a disclaimer, <clears throat> we weren't able to film much but just still want to give you as much information as I can. Doro River flows all the way from Spain and enters the Atlantic Ocean in the city of Porto. So Doro River was used to transport wine from Doro Valley all the way to Gaia to all the wine cellars but now they're using just trucks to bring the wine in. There are quite a lot of things to do here in Doro Valley and the region itself is really huge. So I was really confused on where to book our stay and how to get here and etc. So in this vlog I will cover all that. There are two most popular destinations to visit here in Doro Valley. One is Pesa de Regua, where we are right now, and the other one is Pinao. And you can reach both locations by train as well. And day trips, river cruises also offer you different options on if you want to visit Pinao or Pesa de Regua, or shortly just Regua. Regua is a little bit bigger city than Pinao. Pinao is more of a, a small village. The reason why we chose to stay in town is obviously because we're not driving so it will be easier to reach a supermarket. The supermarket is just five minutes away from where we are staying. There are plenty of restaurants. We were actually pretty shocked how many luxury stores that there are here and some of them sell really fancy clothes, watches and we assume it's all for tourists because the majority of people who actually live here in Regua well and Pinao as well is more of the older people the demographic who lives here is more of seniors Saturday and especially Sunday a lot of places close including the restaurants this town looks like a ghost town during the weekend and you would think on the weekend mostly all the things will be open and it will be more lively but not here in Doro Valley. Pinao is a little bit more popular destination than Regua is just because of the scenery. The way the river curves and all the hills with grapes growing on it, it's just a little bit more scenic than Regua, but nevertheless, Regua is still a really beautiful destination where I'm standing right now. The views are just incredible. The air is really fresh and I'm loving it. There are a few ways to get here to Doro Valley. One is by train like we did and 
in a little bit I will show you how to get here by train. The second way is uh, another very popular way to take a day trip here to Doro Valley from Porto. There are many cruise companies that organize day trips by boat to Doro Valley. We've partnered up with Living Tours and in a few days we will be taking a day trip on a bus from Porto to Doro Valley, visiting two vineyards. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click notification bell so you don't miss when we publish our next video. And the third, probably the most convenient, is by car. Coming to Doro Valley by a cruise or a train is very scenic, but it is very convenient to take a car here for a few reasons. Here in the Doro region, there are a lot of hiking opportunities, and for the hikes, I would recommend to have a car. There are also lots of beautiful and scenic lookouts that you can go to. But if you come in here by train, you can easily take a, a taxi to vineyards or uh, to explore other parts of Doro Valley, Pinao and Lamego. We were trying to see if we could rent a car, but being in America, we only know how to drive automatic and not stick shift. So for the car rentals for two days, just to give you an example, for um, a manual car rental was 60 euros for two days and automatic car rental was 250 euros for two days. So we decided to get here by train and here's how we did it. We are now on the train to Regua. It was super easy to get the tickets and find the right train track. So to get to Doro Valley, you can get obviously the train that we are on from either Sao Bento station or Campania station. The ticket is 10 euros to Regua and Finau is a little bit further, so the ticket would be a little bit more expensive. There are two types of trains. Uh, one is uh, inter-regional IR, which we are on right now. It is a little bit more expensive, and it is a little bit faster. And there is also a train called Urbano. I guess it is a local train, and uh, to get to Regu, it is will it will take a little bit longer. So, for example, on the inter regional train it will take an hour and 54 minutes and on urban train it will take two hours and 20 minutes and a quick tip if you want to get the best views you want to be on the right side of the train depending on the direction the train is traveling so if the train is traveling this way you want to be on this side of the train you get the best views the train is pretty comfortable the windows open and there is a bathroom on the train as well and just like that we have arrived at Regua it was a really nice ride the scenery was beautiful absolutely and I really like that we could pull down the window so you can feel the breeze. And on the train's website, you can actually see different types of discounts. You can have family discounts for people under 25, for seniors, for kids. They make it really affordable. We're outside the train station now and there are taxis, as you can see, lined up behind. There's about five taxis. So you can take a taxi depending on where you're going, but our Airbnb is just about four minutes from this location. So walking we're distance. just gonna walk it. As soon as you get off the train in Rego, you will see a huge statue on the hill of a Sandman. The statue is completely black. It's a man with cape, hat, and a glass of wine. The train station is right in town. If you're taking a day trip by a river cruise, all the stops and wine tastings will be organized for you. But if you come in here by train or a car, here are some options. So we just took the train to Regua and we rented Airbnb right in town. The town of Regua is still pretty small. 
Well, honestly, there is not much to do here in town. The, you can take a boat cruise from Regua to Pinao. There are two types of shorter river cruises that you can take from Regua to Pinao. One is just one way to Pinao and you can uh, take the train back to Regua. And the other one is the round trip. It is more expensive. I think it's cost uh, a little bit over 60 euros and it lasts for five hours, but it is a round trip and it also comes uh, with lunch. Even though those towns are really close to each other, uh, Pinao is about 30 kilometers, I think, from Reg Regoa. Um, the reason why the river cruise takes uh, so long, even one-way cruise, I think, takes about two hours, is because on Doro River, there are several dams to make the river flow a little bit quieter and smoother. Before the dams, the river was really rough or you can take the train to Pinao. So if you want to base yourself here in Regua, you can actually make a day trip to Pinao and visit some vineyards there. In Pinao, you can also take shorter river cruises for 50 minutes and just go up and down the river. Also, as other smaller rivers that protrude out or connect to Doro River as well. And a lot of uh, resorts or quintas also offer uh, different uh, activities like kayaks and pedal boards. There are also several river beaches if you want to come summertime and enjoy the river and swim in it. There are also areas that you can find swimmable beaches or you can also make another day trip to Lamego. And in the next vlog, we'll be actually staying in a four-star resort in Lamego. So just follow our journey and we'll show you what the town looks like and what the wonderful resort looks like as well. Oh, another fun thing to do here in Regua, by the way, let me get there right now, is take a historic tour on one of these trains. Take a look just in time ah. this tour is actually really cheap it is 750 euros in regoa one of the most popular vineyards that you can visit is Quinta La Paseca. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. It is located right across from the river. Google Maps by walking says you can walk there in 40 minutes. I'm not sure if it's actually the roads are walkable or not. We just walked across the pedestrian bridge to the other side of the river. And even though Quinta de Paseca is only 40 minute walk from the town, the road is not really for pedestrians. You can attempt to walk there and you will be sharing the road with cars, but it's much easier to take a taxi from the town. Vineyards also offer different types of tours. They offer just a vineyard tour or a vineyard with tasting and uh, lunch or even some of them also offer picnics but you also need to book in advance you can't just walk in and expect to join a tour september is the harvest season and we think it's the most fun to visit because you can participate in the experience of harvesting grapes and stomping grapes by your feet yes it is so much fun and it, that tour is last the entire day about eight hours and by the way Quinta da Paseca which is right across the river from here also offers that tour so we might have to come back we were planning to visit Quinta da Paseca for the wine tour and tasting but because we both got sick we didn't have a chance to do so there is a pedestrian bridge that you can walk across and watch sunset here in Regua. There are so many vineyards here in Doro Valley and a lot of them also offer accommodations. If you don't want to stay in town, you can book a room in one of the Quintas. Now, keep in mind, they're not necessarily close to the train station. Some of them 15 or 20 minute cab ride, but cabs here in Portugal are very affordable. So you can contact the Quinta that you would like to stay in and ask 
if you come in by public transportation, what would be the closest train station and how to get to the accommodations by a taxi. The accommodations here vary in price. You can book a room for about 150 euros and all the way up to 900 euros per night, depending on the luxury of the accommodations. For example, there is a resort here called Six Senses and it's a really big luxury chain. And for all of you backpackers, there are plenty of hostels as well. One thing we noticed here in Doro Valley, it is pretty difficult to book accommodations. Maybe it is summertime. I know by the way I'm dressed, it doesn't look like it's summertime. We are visiting in June and the weather being on and off, if it's a sunny day, it's very hot. You can wear shorts and if it's overcast, the wind gets a little bit chilly. That's why I'm wearing a jacket right now. So back to accommodations. Depending on the season, right now I found it difficult to book the accommodations we like. All the accommodations get booked really fast. So make sure to book in advance. And when it comes to booking, also make sure you book your river cruises in advance and visit to vineyards as well. Uh, if you choose to stay in any of the quintas outside town and you are not driving, just choose something that either offers a restaurant or a kitchen and bring groceries with you either from here, from town or with you from Porto. Just keep in mind that if you book something more rural, you wouldn't be able to be taking taxis all the time for, for your meals and go in and out of your accommodations. When coming to Douro Valley, it is really popular to visit not only one vineyard, but several vineyards. So how many days you would need to spend here in Douro Valley depends on what you would like to do. If you'd like to visit Lamego, just plan one day trip based maybe in Regua, um, another day trip to Pinhao and one day to explore Regua. I hope this video helped you plan your Dora Valley trip. If so, be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. With your support, we will continue making informative travel videos like this to help you get the most out of your vacation. Obrigada so much for watching and as usual, just be out with us. In our next video, we will continue Doro Valley exploration by heading to Lamego town, where we will be staying in a four-star hotel and visiting an incredible sanctuary.